Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR 15 Crew. Part number 14, we got Pocono today, and I flicked my finger on the thing. <laughs> Alright, so, um, Pocono's gonna be pretty, uh, pretty insane. It's gonna be really tough from what I've practiced, so. I'm a little worried, but we are gonna go into this with some decent upgrades to the car. At least everything will be, like, stock stuff, so good for us. We're just emotionally invested in case Samir's making the chase because he is very if possible of doing this. That's that's just wild. Um, but with Pocono, I did some practicing, and it seemed like the 15% is probably the ideal uh, race percentage with a two times wear, so we're definitely going to go with that. So everybody will pit once. So we'll put everything on there at, like, stock or refurbished or whatever this is. And maybe eventually we can start, you know, adding more to this so I can do two clicks to the right on all these. But as you see, we're cutting it very close on money, so I really don't want to do that, except for maybe the short tracks, but yeah. Either way, uh, we'll just jump right into qualifying, and, or the settings, and then we'll get into qualifying. Here's our settings, 24 laps, 2 times where that should put us around pitting, uh, for the A, I usually pit around lap 12 to 16, so this is about the perfect, uh, race length and everything else will remain the same and with that we'll jump into qualifying do our laps and just you know hope we you know, I guess it'll, it'll give us a good gauge on how the car will be in the race so I guess we'll see how that plays out for us I think we're gonna barely advance to the next round or, or we'll start 33rd okay it said 24th that's just weird I don't know. I'm, just, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm confused. Is it, is it okay for me to be? I don't know what what I can be confused about or what I can't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. It's just. It's just hard to believe that there was nine other cars that were just gonna get a really good time. I don't know. I'm just. I'm perplexed. A little baffled. But yeah, it's gonna be an uphill battle in the race. It's not. It's not gonna be easy. We'll just try to keep the car clean as much as we can. Tony Stewart on pole. Ooh, he might be have a he might have a shot to win it. I'm gonna try one more uh, adjustment to the setup. It's just mainly the top end speed. We kind of max out at 209, but we can't go any faster. That's so I'm hoping maybe with the Type B gearing, it might be able to fix it because it's worth a shot. I don't know if that's gonna absolutely destroy the car or what, but we'll uh, we'll try it. Um, obviously, everything else with the tire adjustments and everything. 1222s, and the wedge is actually really low for uh, what I usually use. I usually uh, do 48s or something. Uh, but in this track, it just, I guess the car, I guess the default stuff is built extremely tight, so I just, I lowered it to a 45.9. Maybe a little bit lower, maybe I'll do that in the race when I pit, I don't know. But we'll have Mike join Daryl take it away. Hi everyone, Mike Joy and Daryl Waltrip welcoming you to the Tricky Triangle, the very unique Pocono International Raceway for today's Pocono 400. Mike, this place is crazy fast. It's unbelievable how fast they're turning this two and a half mile racetrack. Long straightaways. Watch these guys snake their way down through here as they try to pick a draft up off of each other. Daryl, this race 100 miles shorter than last year. Will that make a difference? It's going to make a huge difference. You can go flat out, but one thing you have to always remember, fuel mileage. Keep that in the back of your mind. Right. If you run out of gas on the front straightaway here, it's a long way around this unique trioval. All righty. So this race is going to be wild. The AI go insane in turn one. Usually I try to avoid... Uh, being on the inside line or trying to kind of arc it down low, I try to stay the car up high just to avoid AI doing crazy shit. Um, obviously, this is the one instance where I actually would like to be on the outside. I don't know what happened there. There was like a stack of some kind. Outside. Yeah, with 24 laps, it should be a clear-cut one-stop for everybody. Outside. We'll see if the fourth gear works right there, with that like, adjustment I made to it. I'm hoping it uh, we get a little more top-end speed. But yeah, it's... Yeah, it's crazy. They are just, they're just insane. It's just best to stay away from them. I'm hoping it just goes green and we just let this thing play out because yeah, we already dropped back to almost last. <laughs> really, we're going to be banking on just them either making a mistake or slowing up. That's really the only thing we can do, kind of like what the hell Almondinger did there, as good lord. 
Oh my god, it's just, I don't even know how to explain it. You, you can't even race around them when they're like this. Or they do that, so. That's great. Alright, well. We're gonna have to, it's, it's gonna be a very uh, uphill type of race. Finally caught up to the back of the pack. It's still absolutely crazy. It's a shame because I really like racing here, but the AI are just so all over the place. I just like you don't even, I don't even know where to go. So the only thing I just hope for is it's just to you know go green and have this you know thin out a little bit. Well, actually, the car go past 209. Yes, it did. Ooh, went 211. All right. Well, that, hey, it worked. That's good. Car doesn't feel very. It doesn't feel like I have my adjustments in. I hope I. Did. I I don't know, I'm worried. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll have to check when I pit. It just doesn't... It just feels really, uh, really tight. Good God. Oh my Hello. good God. Hello. That... <laughs> wow. I don't know how Yaley saved it, but hey, we'll take some free spots. And we're almost gonna lose them all. Oh, okay. Oh my God. That was... That was nuts. <laughs> Get a good run off the corner and make some passes, but that does not work at all. We actually lost spots. I don't know how to explain it. The AI are both all over the place, but also really fast. It's it's bizarre. Chase, please don't. I hate it. Oh, okay. Man, this is rough. I just I can't go anywhere. Okay, this is honestly kind of fucking frustrating because... Uh, I did so much practicing trying to get around this track, and then in race trim, in this, I'm not even close. I mean, uh, what the? F oh, this just—it just sucks. I don't even know what to say. It just sucks. I, I can't go anywhere. Oh, there they go again. I'm hoping they can make it to the end, and it's just like fuel strategy call or something because uh, I really don't want them to pit twice. Um, the yeah, pin next lap. We gotta see if we have adjustments in or something because it just. I'm kind of I'm kind of disgusted that I'm just running 40th the whole time. You might get bonus race episode today. It, it might very well happen because nothing has occurred. <laughs> I'm pinning the slap. Everybody else seems to be doing the same thing. Get this car to slow down to 55. Let's get of fuel in there. Let's I might have sped. Dear ready, Lord. Okay, ready. the adjustments are in. I guess the car is just that bad. Okay, well that's. That's good to know. We'll lower the frickin' wedge to 40, 42, <laughs> see if that fixes anything. The only thing I can hope for is, with us pitting, we might undercut somebody to gain some spots. That's all I can hope for. Thanks, th thanks, game, for sending me right into Gil. Or not, because we're just 40th. Well, that's fun. You know what? I'm just gonna get back out on track, almost bone. <laughs> Screw it. I, I'm so far back. I only, I, I gotta take whatever I can get. But now we're in the midst of cars, and that's just an absolute unit. I don't even know where to go. Okay, it seems like we can sort out somehow. All right. Well, I wish the. All right. Well, we got lap cars and lead lap cars in here. I didn't even notice that. Oh my good lord. Well, it is looser now, which is what I wanted. Yeah, it doesn't even seem like we're gonna cycle out much better either, which is really unfortunate. I thought we might get a little more. Man, it's just... I, I can't believe how tight the thing is. The wedge is at 42 and it still doesn't turn! Alright, Chase Elliott pitted a second time, so that's a free spot for us. Yay, another car pitted. We gained another spot. Well, that was our first actual pass. God, I don't even know when. In a while. And it was mainly because Vigor just, like, I think he hit out the back of Almirola and it stopped him. Something. I don't know, but I'll take it. And more people pitting. Well, that's just, I mean, good for us, but damn it, that's not what I wanted because I wanted it to just kind of play out organically and have a one-stop thing and yeah, it's, again, almost impossible to get that to work. But I can't complain about it. I can't criticize it because I chose to play it. It's my fault. It's my fault that the game's like this. Can I go on a rant about how stupid that is? 
I chose to play this, so I can't complain. Maybe the most just nonsensical uh, defense ever <laughs> to try to... It's unbelievable. It's, on, it's honestly kind of shocking. Like, that, that, that blanket criticism can literally be applied to anything. Like, if a movie's bad, well, you chose to watch it. That's your fault. Not the writer's fault. Not the not the dev's fault in this case. No, it's 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 my fault because I chose to play it. Well, I guess not really. He's not saying it's my fault, but it's just more or less that I can't criticize it because I chose to play it. It's just so fucking stupid. Another car goes down pit road, and we get up to 31st. No, 30th. Don't know why they're pitting. They should be able to make it, no problem, but... That's, that's... I can't criticize it. What, what can I complain about? Like, what, what constitutes something being... Like, if I, if I point out that the game has, a, like, a problem, am I not allowed to say... What, what, what is my limit? What is my boundaries? I don't know. Honestly, I should just it should just ignore them and, and just move on. But I just, just it's just so funny to me. And more cars go down here, but hey, it's perfect. It's perfect. There's no problems. Actually, the AI, even though they should, for all logic, be able to make it. No, that's 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 my fault. That's my fault because I chose to play this game. I can't criticize. It. Fuck it. Who cares? It's not like you know I spent like two to three fucking hours playing this, trying to get the right track you know, percentage combo tire wear shits, and then to end up not fucking matter in the end anyways. You know, go, I, it, it's my fault. Well, hey, we're gonna actually get a somewhat decent finish out of this, considering we're running 40th, so... I guess at the end of the day, I'll, I will take it. I'm just shocked at how slow I am. I did not think it would be this bad. I thought maybe I could get a top, like, like top 15 on speed, possibly. But yeah, I was very, very wrong. Hamlin pits, I think, so that just... Man, this just... It's perfect! It's perfect! It's just like real life! Well, I mean, fuel strategy does happen in real life, but, like, it's perfect. I I, I have been actually... This is a better Thunder Roll 4. More cars pitted, and now we're up to 23rd. What a, what a weird race. I don't know how to explain it. It just... You know, it just, it's just so hard to, to find the balance. It's just such a such a mess. And I, I, the fact that the fact that I mention it because this game, like everything else, is a nightmare except for the driving model. Everything else is a, a disaster. <laughs> I, it, I just, I hate that. I don't know how people can justify stuff or, or, or go through media and just, just, just think that, how the fuck do I word this? Go through stuff and see a problem and, and disregard it because, oh, they chose to watch it or play it. That's, that's, that's insane. That's fucking nonsense because then that is. You can't, you can't, we wouldn't get anywhere if we don't, we can't criticize something. The reason why even Heat 4 is so much better is because people complain about it. About Heat 3 being shit. God, sometimes, in, sometimes, gotta, gotta criticize something before it can get fucking fixed. If we never talk about it, then nothing gets fixed, nothing gets done. What a, what a race. I don't even know what to say. Other than maybe we'll get bonus time. I don't know. I'm I'm angry. I'm so I'm so disgusted. Casey Mears 28th. That's upsetting. Um, well, Harvick gets a win. Got absolutely robbed by it from uh, Hamlin by pitting. I think. No, we okay. Maybe Harvick just passed him. I don't, I don't know. Cole Wick got another top ten. By the way. I don't know. I'm I'm moving on. Casey Mears 16th, and he is nine points to the good over Vickers. Hell yeah, but I wish he didn't drop so far back. Also, he has more top 10s than Kirk. Oh my, um... Yeah, the top 10's about the same. Edward's still in second, Truex. Hamlin gains a lot after finishing second. Stewart, who qualified on pole, I don't know where on earth he... Okay, he's 19th. Yeah, again, anything can still change. Cole Witt has five top fives. And more... 
or top tens. He has more top tens than Stewart. That's wild. <laughs> he has more top tens than freaking Ryan Newman. Al Marola, oh, Stenhouse actually has a name. More than Kane. God, get Cole Witt at a top tier ride apparently, because he's <laughs> he's doing he's doing work. And we'll renew the Stanley things. That's more credits there, which is nice. And we definitely have a lot more credits now to work with. 334 a thousand. I don't know what I'll do with this. Um, maybe an in-house bo body for the intermediates. Get that better, because obviously we kind of need that, so. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll throw that in there. And then that's it. I don't know when I'll actually be able to have enough credits to put these stuff to use, but yeah, and I don't want that. That's all we'll do. Maybe we'll wrap up the part. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. It's bonus race time. Kind of happy to have that a little bit. So uh, we already look at the points. We already uh, did. we'll just jump right into it. We have to uh, pick our car, and uh, we're gonna go with uh, a bit of a beefier engine uh, and base. Uh, uh, suspension, body, and chassis. Uh, it's okay if I use a lot here because next one's Sonoma and the AI are really easy there, so we're probably not going to do anything so we can bank up more money. Then we got Daytona after that, and then there's not a whole lot we can really do there to beef the car up, except for maybe the engine, but we're not going to be using all of our sponsor money stuff, so yeah. So I'll show you the settings and we'll jump into qualifying. So here's our settings with, uh, we're going to go with 15% race length. Uh, the fuel use is around 15 some odd laps to 17. So uh, theoretically, everybody should be able to make it on one stop, but you never know with this game. Is that okay for me to say? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're going to, everything else keep the same. So with that, um, we'll do qualifying and hopefully we'll start okay. The AI are actually pretty tough here, so this one, again, I, I don't think we'll do really well. I'm just hoping we can kind of get a top 10 out of it. All right, well, damn. We're, we're not even close. We're going to be starting 36. Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't know what to say. We weren't even close at all on that. All right, well, at least we're going to stay 36. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one, I think. I, I hope we'll be better in race trim. The, the, actually, the AI aren't horrible here. Like, I, I think I had, like, a reverse voice crack. I don't know what that was. But they're not... Got, like, there's tracks where they're really bad. This one's not one of them, so... They break check the least here. So, this might be... Yeah, I might, might be sweating in this one. Welcome to a little bit of Motown madness. Right outside the Motor City, we're at Michigan International Speedway for today's running of the Quicken Loans 400. Mike, we got a new surface, and the track is bad fast. It's really fast. But the other important thing that uh, teams always consider when they come here, this is a manufacturer's battle. You want to win this race for your particular manufacturer. Very important to them. Sure. Detroit is the Motor City, and all of the Detroit Big Three have all their folks out here to see one of their cars win. Ford? Chevy? Or will it be a Toyota in victory lane today? That's interesting, because all these lines were recorded in 2012, so that I guess that one in particular wasn't, because they didn't mention uh, Dodge, which was still a thing in 2012, so. Interesting. I don't know why that's the case, unless that that one line or one thing was just recorded much later. I don't know. But yeah, with it being 30 laps, we're only going to have one pit stop, or we should have one. And, yeah, it's going to be tough. I, didn't I say this would be like the 10 race streak of doing well? It's uh, Pocono did not really bode well for us, and this one might be the same case here. Except we might do a little better, because we do actually have a bit more of an engine in there, as I almost just absolutely just wrecked the car. But yeah, I don't know. They still do check up a little bit, so I'm just going to try to stay away from them. Also, the aero push here is insane. You stay behind a car, like it just really goes all over, so... At least the good news is Harvick and Newman just stopped, so that's good for us. We'll get a spot, and we can you know, comfortably, you know, merge back in the line. 
But yeah, I'm just gonna stay away from them. Even if I have to go through, uh, slow through the corner just to make sure I don't, like, you know, stay directly behind them, because I don't know what they're gonna do. They're actually been pretty tame so far. Usually they're a bit more brake checky, but they're actually, like, you know, not doing it as much. Oh boy, okay, never mind. <laughs> Some, okay, never mind, good lord. That actually, that did help us out a good bit. So thank you. Yeah, once we get to the first pit stop and things start to spread out, we'll see what the car can do a little bit better. We just have to put ourselves in position. I don't think we're going to gain like a huge chunk uh, of time during a pit cycle. Seems like the AI get out of pit road pretty normally, like all things considered. Also, that is just a very casual drift through turn two, so that's 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 cute. McDowell checks up a little bit. We'll get the spot. We'll wrestle to the 24th. All right, this is going pretty well so far. We'll just kind of cut him off there. Ken's is looking for a second win. He's actually pulling away, so he might just have a shot to win as long as Pit Strat doesn't you know, ruin his race. Poor Tony Sturt, though. I still think about Dover. He should have won You're that. Really good, it just That just hurts my soul. But, man, look at this. We're almost in the top half of the field. Go low, go low. Damn. <laughs> Did not expect that. Actually, my race now is a lot harder. Your door. So down. that's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Uh, not officially in the top 20 because we have not cleared whoever this is of the outside, Bobby Labani. And Stuart's going to hold them up, so. Alright, well, I'm going to try to chill for a lap. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try to just relax for a lap because it's been very stressful. Almarola just stops. Chase Elliott stops. Brad stops. Edward stopped. Alright, well then, top 15 just like that. Always a little bit scared to get near these people in the corner, and as you saw, Kane, I don't know why Biffle moved up like that. <laughs> but, oh my god, J.J. Yaley's 10th. Regan Smith 11th. I didn't forget what you did to me that one time, but I'm not going to do it because I don't want to jeopardize my race, but... I didn't forget. Oh my god, yeah, it's a little bit... They have that little bit of uh, inside line tendency where if they get too close to someone, they'll hit the brakes and then go to the right, because that's what poor... <laughs> Uh, Regan Smith or whoever did that. That was, that was weird. Uh, Paul Menard's like last in the standing, so him running good's good for him. JG Ailey's up here too. And you know, once we get by Menard, it's gonna be pretty um, clear sailing for a good bit. So that would be nice. It'll be nice to just relax for a bit because it's just been so stressful. I don't know what they're gonna do. Okay, okay, now we can relax. I think. Yeah, we're not really catching them. It's like maybe a tenth we've gained thus far. It's very, uh, very small with uh, the gains, so I don't think we're faster than them. I mean, maybe we'll gain time on the pit cycle, but I, I'm not. I don't want to like you know bank on that. But yeah, we're just kind of stuck. I mean, it's nice to relax, so I guess there's that. What really hurts my soul is this game. It's almost good. Like, if they beefed up career and had a lot more things going on, or just better presentation and stats and everything. And if the racing, like, if they spread it out pretty quickly and it was just like this, like, running people down, it's it's tough. It's not so easy. It's just, it's, ah, uh, just the AI. It's, it's a shame because it's so close to being an average, like, 5 out of 10 game, but there's just so many different little things that, that set it back, and... Like, right now, it's really cool to, you know, run down Kyle Busch yeah, and the leader and, like, actually, you know, having to try it. Right and it's, you know, it's fun. I'm going to pit this lap. Our pace has fallen off a good bit. We were keeping around 2.9 to 3.1 seconds, and now it just went down to, like, 3.3. .3, so, yeah, we're dropping back a Go good high. bit. So, hopefully this undercut works. We don't need a black flag for speeding. And five, you perfect. Fuel, I, uh, I really can't think of anything to adjust. It's pretty about. good on its own, so... I thought I had the wedge at 48. Why? Why did it change? Sometimes that happens in this game. I don't know why. It's just, it's just, it's just weird. Well, everybody else is pitting, which is good. They're doing what they're supposed to do. And the only thing we got to worry about is just where this is going to cycle us out. Will we actually gain a good chunk of time from you know this? I, I don't know. I, I guess we, all we can do is hope. Right's clear. Well, that was terrifying. <laughs> Jeez. Jimmy's pitting, so we'll be back on the lap. Uh, these cars that are leaving Piro now are going to be the cars we're going to be racing with for the win. 
so it does not look like we're going to gain much time at all, so uh, that aspect sucks. I don't know where that's going to put us. I think that's going to put us in about where we were before. Maybe even worse, I don't know. Brian Blaney takes the lead, and we're going to cycle out into seventh. Okay, we actually we gained a spot. We did lose some time on track, about a second second worth of time. And wow, um, <laughs> Ryan Blaney might have just stole this win somehow. I don't know how, but he <laughs> he actually has a good gap over second, so he might have just I don't know how he did it. I wish he knew what happened on the pit stop because Kenseth is sixth. He lost God knows how many uh, seconds on track and just overall positions. I don't know where Ryan Blaney was running previously, but Something crazy happened on pit road. <laughs> we're closing Definitely in a little bit on Blaney, which is nice. Now we're closing in on Kenseth as well. Again, I just don't know if it's enough time unless Kenseth catches up with those other cars in front of him. Because once they get in the pack and start racing, they, they lose so much time with the dirty air. So it might be possible. Top 5 could be in our cards if they somehow keep racing up there. Well, well we just got a top 5. That's a shame. I wanted to kind of race it out. I don't know why the to go. this game is really making it hard to do pit stops. It's, ugh, it's so frustrating. Twenty flags out. Thankfully, nobody in front of me pitted, so we are just gonna kind of race this out. I just can't believe Ryan Blaney cycled out into the lead. I don't know what he did or how that even happened. Uh, total upset. An absolute upset for sure. Seemed like only a couple people pitted there right at the end, which was for whatever reasons uh, Gordon and Harvick. Yeah, the, absolutely uh, horrible for them. I mean, I'm going to try to get by Kenseth, but our car is just, uh, once it gets in the, the draft, it just plows. So. I'll take a top five. I did not really think a top ten was even really possible, let alone top five. So I will take it. I will gladly take that. Uh, we kind of had leader pace speed, sort of. I mean, we're keeping up with Blaney there right at the end. I mean, the gap doesn't didn't really change, but we just didn't have track position, so that kind of hurt us, too. But again, I'll gladly take that. And poor... Oh my god, Chase Elliott in ninth. Um, poor Gordon and Harvick. I don't know where they ended up finishing. Uh, Mears 21st. Uh, Gordon and Harvick. Oh my god. Harvick 31st and... Gordon last. <laughs> a lap down. Oh my god. There's a couple. Yeah, Denny. Uh, Hamlin and Gordon. I don't, I don't know. That's weird. But... Casey Mears could still be in the chase. We keep our point lead. It's about 66 points over Truex. And with that win for Ryan Blaney, yeah, he's already ninth in the standings, so he's already locked in, officially locked in. Casey Mears 15th. He moved up. <laughs> oh, my God. And he's 10 points ahead of Gordon. And he is 20, 27 ahead of Boyer. Oh, my. He... Oh my god, that's wild. Out of the top 16, I guess Ryan Blaney and Mears for 2015 standards, it's, um, it, th that's the most oddest thing. Surprise Gordon's out, and uh, poor Tony Stewart having it a rough uh, rough go at it. Uh, Jimmy Johnson as well, but he's still kind of up there. Chase Elliott with more top 10s than Gordon. Uh, it's been a weird, weird season. So to say, but yeah, Mears is still in it. Ooh, Featherlight and it's 14,000. Well, I will gladly take that offer. Anything else? No? Okay, well, I guess I'll add that on uh, off camera next episode. But yeah, uh, we don't have too much more to look into as far as the research and development. We're going to save our money, mainly just because we don't need uh, anything crazy for Sonoma. Maybe breaks, maybe I'll put something in it for breaks, but everything else will be just like refurbished. And Daytona, we'll just beef the engine up. Actually, we have enough credits to actually do the super speedway thing, so. May not be the most optimal idea, but. No, I don't need it. No, I'm not going to do that. We got qualifying and drafting and stuff, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll save our money. But yeah, uh, we'll wrap this part up. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, Dale Reynolds, Wither Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave, and our chat 15, NASCAR, number 8, Ward, Billy Carrier, Golf Kid 100, Danny Hammond, Ultra Fan, Emilio Bebzer, Mark Harmon, and Mexican Link 1986 for a donation. Again, I can't thank guys enough for your contribution and pledge and support the channel and everything like that. It's uh, 
means a lot. It always goes a long ways, and I'm always really thankful uh, to have anyone support the, the channel like this. So I just, just thank you guys so much, and I'm just always thankful for it. I'll see you all next episode for hopefully a less lengthy part, part, and we can maybe just get through Sonoma, destroy the field, and then move to Daytona. I guess we'll see. But yeah, um, I guess that'll do it for me. I will see you all next episode. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.